day we party, every day, every day we party, every day we party, now every day we party, every day we party, nation. So when you see me just clap, break it down, don't stop, uh, so turn around and clap, break it down, don't stop, I try to be, I try to be, I try to be, I try to be, Now let me hear you, let's go. Every day we party. Step up, make some noise. Now. Make some noise for your host, George Quay. Yo, yo, look, man, who's the dude in the white glasses over there? Man, I'm feeling your glasses. Blanco, Blanco. Now, let me hear you scream! Yo, yo, Blanco, yo, can I borrow your glasses for a minute? Can I, can I try it on for a minute? All right, let me, let me just get over there. I'm loving it. Whoa! Oh, oh. All right, then, let's see how this is going to look. Yeah. Josh Quay! Josh Quay! And this is how I welcome you to another exciting edition of Step Up, of course, with Syntax Tank. Syntax Tank! Hands up, hands up. That's what we're talking about, Bell Ice. Angel Cola. MC and Momo. Yes, sir. It's all excitement out here. Yes, 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 yes. We party like that. Give yourselves a hand. Take your seats, take your seats, take your seats. Another beautiful Sunday evening. It's an honor to be in your homes. My name is GQ. I do this with my man, the legendary Mercury Quay, father of all DJs in GH, and this is Step Up. Woo! What we do here is we give cash, plain and simple. Four players come up, they contest, answer questions, and they walk away with loads and loads and loads of money, of course, made possible by all our sponsors. When we come back from this short break, I'm going to introduce our players for today and tell you how you can also win straight from home. Keep it locked right here. We'll be back. Mm -hmm. Step up with Syntex Tank is sponsored by Bell Eyes, MTN Momo, Angel Cola, and is powered by Syntex Tank. That's true. It can store a lot of water. That's so true. Wow. It has a working surface on it. Mm hmm. That's so true. I can see S I N mm -hmm. T E mm -hmm. S syntax. That is so true, my daughter. When it falls down, it will spoil. That's not true. But why? Whoa. Hey! <laughs> Syntex was the first to introduce double layer tanks in Ghana. Syntex again was the first to introduce white inner layers in Ghana. Syntex gives you the biggest warranty seven years. No matter your water needs, Syntex is the answer. Syntex tank. Are you strong? Are you tough? <laughs> Bell Eye. 
Jazz with alcohol levels of 5.58 and 18% and enjoy. Bell Ice, me Philippa. This advert is FDA approved. Another quality. Alfred. Silver iodide. You are right. Yeah! your calendars, set reminders, and get ready for the academic showdown of the year. The 2023 Great National time. Science and Mass Quiz. It's time for the brightest young minds in Ghana to battle it out for academic supremacy. Expect mind-bending equations, heart-pounding moments, and nail-biting suspense as the best schools go head-to-head. -head. Who will emerge the ultimate champions and claim the prestigious trophy? Catch the action on TV, radio, and online starting 6th to 24th October City Studios in a step up, of course, with Syntex Tank right here on Joy Prime. And that brings me to the Syntex Tank question of the week. Take a look. This season, as a viewer, keep your eyes peeled for the thrilling Syntex Tank question of the week. Be the first to answer correctly via WhatsApp or SMS to 0508 338888 and you could snag remarkable prizes graciously provided by our sponsors Melcom, Orca Deco, Noble House Restaurant, Flora Tissue, Top Choco, La Galette, Karina Cakes, and Syntex Tan. A viewer who consistently and swiftly answered most questions correctly throughout the season will walk away with magnificent 65-inch Samsung television. Don't be left out. Be entertained while winning prizes. Special thanks to MTN Momo, of course, Angel Cola and Bill Ice. Right about now, we want to get into the game. So where are my players at? Come on, come on, come on. Where are four players for today? Map, 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 map. Gentlemen, welcome to Step Up. How are y'all doing? Fine. My man in Kinsley, let me start from you. Who are you? I'm Norsena Kinsley. Again? Norsena Kinsley. Lord? Norsena Kinsley. Lord Sina. N U A S E N A. Norsena. I've never heard it before. All right. It's an unusual kind of name. But welcome to the show. Thank and you? you? Steven Kwekuba. Yeah. Steven. And the pretty lady? Miriam Amwako Omane. Miriam, welcome. Bus, you could do or something. Hey, no, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. that's a man. All right, we're gonna go straight into it. You all know the rules, so I'll make it snappy. This is step up. We start from where we are now. Fastest finger first, gonna pop up on the screen. 
fastest among you to answer that question steps us to play. When you step up, you're going to play three, two levels. First level, start straight from here. This is the Aquaba step, where I get to know you a little better, and then we ask you various questions. There are four questions on each step, okay? The four year, each question is worth 100 Ghana Cs. Clear them all plus the bonus, you make 500. Then you elevate, all right? You elevate. When you elevate, you come to the intermediary step. Every question here is worth 200 Ghana Cs plus the bonus, that's 1,000. Then you step up again. This is where you really want to step up to. This is the expert level. Every question here is worth 1,000 Ghana CDs plus a bonus, which makes it 5,000 plus 1,005 you cleared early on, making a total of how much? 6,500. I thought you were going to clap for that. But it is a game show. We've got lights, cams, and everything here. So sometimes you could get a little jittery. You could get stuck. That's why I give you three lifelines. You came with your friends, right? If you get stuck, that's your first port of call. Somebody can come up, bail you out with the answer. Questions pop up in various categories. If you get stuck at some point, you can ask me to switch the category for you. What it means is that you lose every cash you've accumulated on that particular category, but not the one before. All right? That's if you've cleared any category. You don't lose whatever it is you've cleared. On that particular category, you lose everything and start again if you switch categories. Then there's the last one, which is the strike two, where I randomly take away two wrong answers, leaving the correct answer plus another wrong answer. Okay, so these are the three live lines available to you. Strike two is not applicable if it is a true or false question. It is only one of the multiple, choice, uh, uh, multiple choices. It comes four, A, B, C, D. Okay, that's good. Any questions? Very good. Beautiful. So, guys, are we ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Fastest finger first. Let's see the question. The frequency, 99.7, belongs to which radio station? Abrantia FM, Asunje FM, Sura FM, or Radio Fumbisi? 99.7. We've gotten Asunje FM from Kinsley. It is wrong. Let us continue. We have Abrantia FM. Is that correct? It is still wrong. Is somebody pressing? Steven says it is Zura FM. Is he right? Nobody got it right. The 99.7 you know is the one in a crowd, but when you go up, not radio from BC is also 99.7. Okay? Good. Another one. Name the personality in the photograph. Is it Michael Blankson, Maxwell Blankson, Martin? Yes, we have a winner. And let's go! Miriam! Miriam! Yes. Oh! I forgot to mention, if you're able to clear all the steps and you win the 6,500 plus all the bonuses, Syntex Tank is giving you a 10,000 liter tank as well. It's part of the prizes, okay? And all winners are gonna send to you via MTN Momo. All winners shall be sent via MTN Momo. So you guys are in safe hands. Miriam, tell yes. us a bit more about you. Okay, my name is Miriam Omako Omane. I'm a student of Accra Technical University. I'm studying medical laboratory science. Medical laboratory science? Yes. So what are you going to be when you're done? A, a doctor or something like that? No, a medical laboratory scientist. Oh, so you're the ones who will be piercing, piercing things and yes. taking our blood. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't like those people at all. Oh, why? You always... But you have to get fine too because if you don't take the sample, you can't be fine. You wouldn't know what is wrong with you. <laughs> so we have to be fine, eh? Yes, you have to be fine. <laughs> what are your hobbies? What do you do for leisure? <sighs> <laughs> Uh, I like to play handball. Yeah. Handball? Yes. That's, that's an unusual sport. Why handball? 
Humble. What humble? Why humble? Why humble? Okay. It's actually. I actually took part in a school competition. That's when I got to like it. Uh, what's the difference between handball and volleyball? Okay, so volleyball, I think it's you are stuck at one side. You have opponents, and there's this band in between the two teams. But the handball, you can move from one position to the other. It's just like football, but you're using your hand to play. Ah. Yes. Okay, so what else do you like for leisure? I like sleeping. You like sleeping? Yes. That's, that's a hobby. Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What year are you in? Oh, I just completed school Monday. Yes. Oh, you're done. You're a graduate. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. Boyfriend? Uh, my dad is watching, so. <laughs> but, 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 oh, it's a simple question. My dad is watching, so I can't say anything so, now. So, so, dad should know the answer. Da Daddy himself has gotten the answer already. <laughs> <laughs> you know you have answered already, yes. right? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe. It means the answer is yes, but because daddy is watching, you'd rather keep quiet. The answer is not yes. Um, I mean, not really. I don't know. <laughs> Honey Hawk. Yes. You will explain that. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> you will explain, 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 explain. Ah. Anyway, what's your favorite Ghanaian dish? Okay, I like Ampesi. Sa? Yes. Ampesi papa. Pa. Yes, please. <laughs> Nice one, nice one. All right, I've got science, I've got sport, politics, movies, music, and religion. Where would you like to start from? Religion. Any particular reason? I go to church a lot. You go to church? What church? Apostolic Church of Ghana. Which branch? Adabaka branch. Oh, you live in Adabaka? Yes, please. Please step up. Let's play. Religion. Pop it up. Who was the father of John the Baptist? Joseph, Moses, Jeremiah, or Zachariah? You know this one? Yes. Who was it? Zachariah. You're very sure? Yes. And she's right, she's right, she's right, she's right. She's right. <laughs> How old was Muhammad when his mother died? 10, 8, 6, or 12, Muhammad. The category was religion. It didn't say Christian religion. Did he ask? 15 seconds, three lifelines available. I would like to use Stop them. clock. Which one would you like to use? Are you calling someone? Are you striking to? Or do you want to change category? You lose only 100 cities if you change category. I'd like to call someone. Who so. are you calling? Black Oak? Look at me, I'm right here. Where are you calling? You. You're calling me? Yes. I have no idea. <laughs> mm? Or you want to call me Kikwe? He doesn't know. Who are you calling? Or do you want to switch category? You know we don't have the whole night. I like to call that guy. That guy? <laughs> Douglas? <laughs> Douglas? Douglas? Yes, boss. You know this one? Of course. You're sure? Yes, yes. How old was Muhammad when his mother died? He six was, or ten? He was six. He was six? Yeah. How do you know? Are you a Muslim? I'm not a Muslim, but I know this one. You know this one? Very All right, sure. thank you very much. You're welcome. He says he knows it's six. Do you want to go with him? Yeah. So, can I start my clock? Yes. You're sure? Yes, please. All right, computer, start the clock. Please answer 10 seconds. She has chosen C, six. And they are right! <laughs> Next question. Muhammad was raised under the care of his grandfather. What was his name? Abu Talib, Abd al Mutalib. Razak Abdul, Yakubu Talib. You have one last 
lifeline available. You can switch category. You lose only 200 seats. 15 seconds on the clock. Or you want to answer it. Just taking a guess. Abd al Mutalib. Is she right? Computer, show the answer. Yes! <laughs> Let's see the next question. Duka, Anitya, and Anatma are beliefs in which religion? Buddhism, Islam, Sikhism, or Taoism? Yeah. <laughs> this is the last one. She has chosen Islam. Is she right? After the break. Keep your eyes peeled for the thrilling syntax tank question of the week. Be the first to answer correctly via WhatsApp or SMS to 0508. 338888 and you could snag remarkable prizes graciously provided by our sponsors Melcom, Orca Deco, Noble House Restaurant, Flora Tissue, Top Choco, La Galette, Karina Cakes, and Syntex Tan. The viewer who consistently and swiftly answered most questions correctly throughout the season will walk away with magnificent 65 inch Samsung television. Don't be left out, be entertained while winning prizes. Step up with Syntex Tank is sponsored by Bell Eyes, MTN Momo, Angel Cola, and is powered by Syntex Tank. And enjoy. Bell Ice, me Philippa. This advert is FDA approved. Another quality product. Daddy, Daddy, <sighs> this tank is big. Yes, that's true. It can store a lot of water. That's so true. Wow, it has a working surface on it. Mm hmm. That's so true. I can see F. I-N-T-E-X mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That is so true, my daughter. When it falls down, it will spoil us. That's not true. But why? Hey! <laughs> Syntex was the first to introduce double layer tanks in Ghana. Syntex again was the first to introduce white inner layers in Ghana. Syntex gives you the biggest warranty, seven years. No matter your water needs, Syntex is the answer. Syntex tank. Are you strong? Are you tough? Black. It's not dark. It's bright. Black is bold. Black is every color.
It's time to mark your calendar for our annual alumni homecoming and the grand celebration of UBSA's 58th anniversary as we gather under the theme, The Global Impact of Professionals in Business. Program lineup for the celebration are as follows. Friday, 27th October, 2023. Ignite the night with a bonfire and drama performances with old school dressing. Variety of entertainment at 7 p.m. Saturday, 28th October. Get your adrenaline pumping with alumni fun games. Current students will contribute to a noble cause with blood donations starting at 7 a.m. Tuesday, 31st October. Mentorship sessions at 2 p.m. All activities will take place right on the UPSA campus where it all began. For more more information, visit our website at www.upsaglobalalumni.com or contact the UPSA Alumni Office on 0243-288-579 or Room 19 Central Administration. UPSA Scholarship with Professionalism. in which of the following religions? Buddhism, Islam, Sikhism, or Taoism? And Anita chose Islam. Computer, please reveal the answer. Step, step, step a little lower. You are not there yet. <laughs> All right, MCN and Syntax Tank bid you farewell. Thank you very much for coming. Early shower. These are ladies first, so the lady took the first exit. Let us see if the three gentlemen left are going to conquer the big stage. Fastest finger first, let's see the question. Name the personality. We already have an answer from Stephen Sessis. D, Akwesi Bwedi, and he's right. Stephen, Hello, welcome to Step Up. Thank you. Tell me a bit about yourself. Um, please, I'm Stephen Kokuba. Mm -hmm. I am a medical average science student at Accra Denka University. And uh, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm also a graphic designer. I'm in the production team at church. Uh, I edit photos, <laughs> take video, I, I, I'm into videography, photography, and yes. So you can take any of our cameras and do what we are doing? Yes. And why are you here? Uh, uh, I beg, give her the camera, uh, make you. <laughs> yeah? Any hobbies? You say? Hobbies. Yes. What are uh, they? I like programming. Like, I like sitting behind the PC doing my leisure time. You like what? Sitting behind the PC doing my leisure time programming. Programming? Yes. Uh, so you, yeah. you, you go program stuff? Yes. Yeah, 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 not bad, not bad, not bad. How old are you? 23. 23? Yes. What would you like to do in the future? Um, when you're like 35, what should you be doing? I want to be a molecular biologist. And in the uh, uh, who? Molecular biologist. Okay. In the, in the infectious disease category, in the health sector. In the health center? Yes. Okay, you want to prepare for COVID-19? Yes. Uh, you want to prepare for COVID-20 before it comes? There are variants of the COVID-19. We have the Omicron, the Delta, and Co. Uh, who? And Co, like, there are other variants. Omicron? Yes. Ah, is that not the name of the French president, something Macron? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, Anna. oh? The French, ah, the French president, what's his name? Macron, Omicron, eh? Macron, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, Macron. Oh, oh, oh Macron. Ma ah, this one is Omicron. So you can say, oh, Macron. Macron. <laughs> Interesting. All right, my brother. Unfortunately, I do not have religion. Okay. Where would you like to go? Science, sport, politics, movies, or music? Science. Science? Well, molecular biologist, the uh, 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 what? Laboratory specialist. Yeah. Let's see what you can do with science. 100. Let's go. What is the process by which plants, oh, sorry, step up, please. What is the process by which plants use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to create oxygen and energy in the form of sugar? Osmosis in plants, diffusion in plants, 
photosynthesis or respiration in plants. Stephen has chosen C, photosynthesis, and he's right. Good. Cucumber is a vegetable, true or false? You have lifelines available. Except you cannot use strike two. 15 seconds on the clock. Stephen has chosen B, says it's false. It is not a vegetable. So what is it then? I was thinking it's a fruit. You think it's a fruit? I was thinking. Ah. Oh, slow down. Maybe it's a fruit. If tomato be fruit, why can't cucumber be fruit? Computer, please reveal the answer. Yes, he's right. Which force keeps all of the planets in orbit around the sun? Gravitational, electrical, action at a distance, or magnetic? Lifeline. Stop clock. Which lifeline would you Strike like to go two. for? Computer, randomly take away two wrong answers. Leave the right answer plus one wrong answer. Or which of the answers they do you for? Which, which one do you think is the right one? A. You think it's gravitational? OK. So which ones do you want to see eliminated? Um, B, C. Electrical and action at a distance. You don't see them as possible answers, correct? Yes, please. All right, computer, we're waiting for you. So what happens if computer, OK. Ah, computer heard you. Your dreams have come true. Shall we start the clock? Yes, sir. Please start the clock. Let's go. And he has chosen gravitational, and he's right! Nice. One more, then you step up. Let's see the last one. Hydroscope is an instrument that is used to see objects under the water, detect atmospheric humidity, detect density of liquid, detect sound underwater. Hydroscope. 20 seconds. A, see objects underwater. You know this? Not sure. So why won't you use your last lifeline? Computer, I see right. Yes! Easy, 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 easy. Stephen, it is my honor to ask you to step up. I've got a bonus for you. You ready for it? Okay. Let's see the bonus. What does A in travel visa stand for? Arrival, applied, admission, attendance. The acronym or abbreviation visa. What does the A in there stand for? Stephen, Stephen has chosen arrival. Why? I don't know. You're just guessing. <laughs> Okay, let's see if Steven is right. Yes, he is! <laughs> yeah, Visa, the last time my request has a very instant straight arrival. Please ask a lie. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the intermediary level. You have elevated, you have stepped up. It's like people who are using some useless tanks. When they step up, they use syntax tank. So now you have stepped up. Please choose a category. All categories are open. All are open. Except for science. You're just coming from science, so you wow. can stay back there. Um, so I'll go for religion. Religion. Let's play religion at 200. According to many scholars, it is the world's oldest religion. Which one? Taoism, Christianity, Hinduism, or Judaism? Which among these is the oldest, according to scholars? Lifeline available. You've chosen Judaism. You know this for sure? No, not, not, not sure. Yes, yes, yes. You're just guessing. Let's see if the guess is a good one. Hinduism. They've been around for a while. 
Can we get a package for him? You leave with 500 Ghana CDs. Give him a hand. Congratulations. Thank you. Give, a, give him a hand, give him a hand, give him a hand. Religion just keeps flooring people. I don't know why, but we've got these two fine gentlemen here. Maybe they will be able to surmount it. Are you guys ready to play Fast as Finger Fest? All right, let's see the question. Name the artist in the picture. Esther Efia Ofori, Francesca Gauga, Francesca Efia Lomi. Esther Efia Ando. Kojo says it is Esther Efia Ando and it is wrong. Kinsley says it is Esther Efia Ofori. It is still wrong. Let us see another question. Y'all couldn't kill this one. You do not know her. Eh? Should I mention the name for you? No, we'll use the question another time. So we'll change the question for you. Keep your eyes on the screen. What is the major religion in Cuba? What's the question more than you? Hey, Koju has chosen says it's Islam. What boy? Kinsley says it is Christianity and it's right. Kinsley, step up. One, two, three, say. All right, hold on. Ah, the song we are singing, you can't hear. I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, this kind of song. So. What kind of songs do you like? Um, should I request my song? Yes, go ahead. Um, can you play... Um, Cecilia Ma for one of his worship songs for me. Please, everybody up, everybody up, everybody up. Give me a handkerchief if you have a handkerchief. Let's wait for him. Okay. See. Okay. Okay. So that's what you like? Yes, please. Cecilia Amafu? Yeah, and other Christian songs. Other Christian songs, yes, eh? Please. Tell us a bit more about you. Which is it? Tell us a bit more about yourself. Okay, I'm Nosina Kinsley. I'm a northerner. And I attended school at Accra Technical University. I just completed, that was Tuesday, a mechanical engineering student. How old are you? I'm 24 years. Are you married? No, please. Girlfriend? No, please. What, what, what happened to your last relationship? Please, you say? Your last relationship, what happened? Mm, when it comes to relationship, I don't have first and last. I've not been into it before, so... You've never been in a relationship? Hey! hey! That's a hot That's a hot Girls don't like you? Um, actually, actually, it's not like girls don't like me or I don't like girls. You see, it depends on where you pass in life. And you want to get to a certain stage before you want to do something. That's why I'm saying that. So, at which point in your life would you want to have a girlfriend? Um, where I have chosen to study um, in my life, it dealt with a lot of stresses. And looking at Ghana's system, there are a lot of stresses between this relationship, girlfriend and... So, calculating stresses and materials, I cannot add that human being to be calculating your stress every day. So, I want to get to where I think the stress is now down, then I can go in for those things. So roughly, at what age do you think you'll be ready? At my, I'm now 24, right? Yeah. By 26, maybe I will start. So in like two years' time? Two years' time. Okay. I tell you what, from experience, yeah. I can tell you for sure that it would be in your best interest 
So at least experience one heartbreak before 25. You experience one. You know, the science people will tell you, and, and the, 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 the lab people here tell me if I'm wrong. The best way to develop immunity against any virus or whatever is to kind of experience it a little bit. Your body builds some kind of a buffer, naturally, yeah. that protects you against it. Trust me, even by 25, you haven't had a heartbreak before. <laughs> Make you're not going to tell them. But, but you, you I, tell them everything if or no. <laughs> I only understand the um, simple thing in life. Though things might be happening to people, but not all the people that that same particular thing is happening to them. I said, uh, maybe this is it breakup or whatever you're talking about, broken heart or whatever. Yeah. I said, it's a general thing that's been happening. But we have some people which they've not experienced it before. Maybe who knows? I'm going to be the one. Or the two. one, the exception. Amen. We, we wish you well. Yeah. Please, I do not have religion. I do not have science. <laughs> I have um, sports, politics, movies, and music. Choose a category for politics. me. Politics. Politics. Yeah. All right. Squad in the auditorium. Step up for me. Let's get the show on the road. Politics. Let's go. Who was the national chairman of the National Democratic Congress in the year 2020? Esierunketia, Samuel Ofosuampofu, Jerry John Rawlings. Oh, and he has chosen Samuel Ofosuampofu. That's correct! <laughs> calm down, calm down. Next. How many constituencies are in Ghana as of 2020? 250, 235, 270, or 275? You have three lifelines. Constituencies in Ghana as of 2020. He has chosen D, 275. That is right! Man sure knows his politics. All right. John Dumelo lost the parliamentary election to the new patriotic party's incumbent, Lydia Al Hassan, for which constituency? Ayawaso East, Ayawaso Central, Ayawaso West Wagon, or Ayawaso North? And he has chosen Ayawaso West Wagon, and that's right. Last one. Next, let's go. Name the arm of government in Ghana responsible for making laws. Is it legislature, executive, judiciary, or the Council of State? Quiet in the auditorium, please. Allow him to think. Mr. No Broken Heart is on the floor. Legislature, please. executive, lifeline. lifeline, stop clock. Which one would you want to use? Um, strike, strike two. two out Computer, two. randomly take away two wrong answers. Leave the right answer plus the final wrong answer. Which of them do you think is right? Um, legislate, legislature. You think it's legislature? Yeah. So which do you want to see off? Hey, they've left out legislature and judiciary. Making laws. Can I start my clock, please? Can I start the clock, sir? Um, or do you want to use another lifeline? You have two more left. You can switch category. Or you can come in. Um, okay. I'm so this is the one that will elevate you. This is the last. Then you step up. So do you want to use a lifeline? I will use uh, the lifeline. Another one. The second lifeline. Yes. Who would you like? To, uh, do you want to switch want category, or you want to call some? You I want, want to somebody to come and help you. Yes, Who do you want to call? Achu Damesi. Achu Damesi, where are you? <laughs> Atu, yeah. how are you doing? I'm fine. Good. Your brother is relying on you. Do you know this one? Yes. Which do you think is the right answer? It's A. That's the legislature. Legislature. Yeah. On a scale of 0 to 100, what's your percentage of surety? 99. 99. All right, thank you very much. Give him a hand. Go take your seat. My brother from the northern part of Ghana, can I start my clock now? Yes, please, you can. Computer, please start clock. Please choose your answer. He has chosen a legislator. Is he stepping up? Yes, he is.
na mimi mwonyame Chesley it is my honor to ask you to step up There is a bonus question for you There's a bonus question for you do you want to go for it Yes please Let's see the bonus The idea is to make you rich then MTN Momo is going to sort you out. They will wire it to you. What type of government elects representatives to make all government decisions? Direct democracy, republic, dictatorship, or monarchy? What type of government elects representatives to make all government decisions? It's a bonus, you lose nothing. Chosen C, dictatorship. Is he right? Nope, you're not right. You're not right. But that's all right. Don't give the answer. It's a question I would like to keep. So let us move on to the category board, please. Category board. Please, choose a category. You just cannot choose politics because you're just coming from there. Aside that, science, sports, movies, music, religion, all available. Where would you like to go? Um, religion is still existing in the system. Uh, uh, did somebody use religion early on? Yes, I think somebody played religion, but it wasn't at level 200. Was it at level 200? Yes, it was. And I told him it had flawed people. So no, religion is not available. So you've got um, science, sport, um, politics, movies, and music. I'll go for sports. you go for sports. Yes. Okay, great. Sports, let's play. Which player won the Ghana Premier League top scorer in the 2004-2005 season and with how many goals? I can't. Emmanuel Clote, 14 goals. Prince Sego, 18 goals. Eric Berko, 17 goals. Or Alex Asamoah, 16 goals. We have chosen Eric Berko, 17 Eric goals. You sure? Um, it's been a while I read back graphic on those sports. But on sports, but you had a last lifeline. You could have asked to use it. Let's see if he is right. Sentai <laughs> Sank, MTN. Thank you very much for coming. Welcome. Congratulations. One last player standing, no need to play fastest finger. Bro, let's do it. Give me a hand. <laughs> Tell us about yourself. Um, I'm Nana Kujo Sapon. Um, I completed uh, Accra Technical University on Tuesday, an electrical engineering student. Electrical engineering. So what would you like to do after school, after national service? Um, I'd like to work with um, one of the power companies, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'd like to work with one of the power companies, maybe ECG, Gridco, and yeah. Uh, go to people's houses and dis disconnect stuff. <laughs> uh, I can see it on your glasses. <laughs> you like that. But uh, what do you do for leisure? Um, I uh, maybe rap some, like I write uh, raps or song. Or you write raps? Yeah. Or you are a rapper? Um, not really, but you know, small, small. And small. Matthew, give us a beat. <laughs> Let's go. All right. I'm that guy with a list of girls in my DM. Waiting for the day I go see them. Make some noise, put your hands in the air. What do you say, then crowd, don't come Red lights, man, man, I want to change. Who feels so look for you? Not for Kazanku. Macho me die go me chi su girl see you who in see and my shed rip chale no banku his rap selling on the MIC take away name me say have you heard about me I don't really rap about the things I see in see and my area make my mommy wife oh maybe you stop the beat well let me try the camera rap hey! ah. no it's okay you it's okay eh uh, you want me to rap some? Oh, you can do a few rap. Oh, you sure? Yeah. Uh, like, seriously, you want to hear me rap? Today? Right now? Uh, what? 
You want like, 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 make a freestyle something for you? Yeah. Oh, you guys, but I'm not a rapper. <laughs> I'm just the host of the show. And I don't care near. <laughs> I'll rap for you at the end of the show, promise. Let's go. All right, so my brother. Uh, unfortunately for you, I've only got movies and music available. Hey. Oh, and sports, yes. Um, Please step up for me while you choose a category. Yep. Yeah, politics has been taken right. No, it's gone. You only have sports, movies, and music. Music. Music! Yeah. Oh, boy. Rapper one. Music 100, let's go. Who won the VGMA Artist of the Year in 2017? You've got lifelines. Kwame Eugene, Joe Metal, Kitty, Ebony. 2017, VGMA Artist of the Year. 13 seconds on the clock. Three lifelines available. Um, lifeline. Stop clock. Which one? Um. <laughs> Why not another? I don't, I don't really, um, I'm not a fan of that. Nah, 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 you chose music, we didn't choose it for you. You saw sports and movies. Yep. Boss, which lifeline are you using? Um, I'll, I'll Strike two, or call somebody, or change category. Do you want to change category? You are looking for somebody to call. Yeah, I'm looking for someone. Call somebody, didn't you come with your friends? Call, let's go. Um, I'll call this guy. What's your name? Yeah, what? <laughs> metal. Ah, you're calling Joe Metal. Okay, Metal, come. Metal, take a mic open. Metal, mic open. Joe Metal. Is that your name? No, mine is Eben Metal. Eben Metal. Ah, okay, all metal is metal. Who won the VGMA artist of the year in 2017? Joe Metal. You're sure? Because your name is Metal, you're choosing Joe Metal. No, no, no. You know this for sure? I'm sure, yeah. On a scale of 0 to 100, what's your percentage of children? Um, 98. 90. Thank you very much. 98, you said. Okay, that's nice. Give him a hand. So I start the clock. So you go? You want to go with him? Yeah. All right, start clock. 10 seconds. You've got to answer quick. All right. Kojo says it is B, Joe Metal. And he's right! Next question. Let's go. In 2019, Jackie released her first single titled Slow Down, Something Never Like This or Love is Pretty. You know Jackie? Do you know Jackie? Yes. What was the title of her first single? Slow Down, Something Never Like This or Love is Pretty. 14 seconds on the clock. Two lifelines available. Eight. Seven, six, five. We've oh, chosen C, D, D. never like this. Are we no, correct? No, it's, it's a mistake. Oh, uh, well, you chose. Oh, it's... Hold on. What were you intending to choose? Um, love is pretty. Love is pretty. Let me see whether or not you, you... So which of the answers do you want to go with? I want to give you a chance. Do you want to go with love is pretty or never like this? You cannot choose any other. Love is pretty. You want to go with love is pretty? Yeah. Computer, please reveal the answer. Let's see. Hold on. If love is pretty is correct, I'll let you go on. Okay. Let's go. Fine. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you only because you said it's a mistake and you chose love is pretty. So that's fine. Let's move on. Next question. Choose the odd one out. Miss Bell, Cindy Thompson, or Baba Christie, Mama Esther. Miss Bell. Why are you choosing Miss Bell? Um, I think they are all gospel uh, musicians. And I think you are right. Computer reveal it. Yes! <laughs> Next question. In which year was Osibisa band formed? Is it A, 1958? B, 1955? 
1969 or D, 1963. You have lifelines available. Two. Two lifelines available. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. We have chosen C, 1969. Do you know this for sure? Yeah, um, I like their music. So you know they were formed in 1969. You're very sure. Yeah. Computer, let's see if he's right. Yes! Let's see the last question on this round, then we elevate you. I think I've answered. Yep, nope. That one with the Jackie one didn't count. It only gave you an opportunity to continue. It didn't count. You know I usually don't count when I give second chances. Right. So that one did not count for me. So I, I jubilated. Okay. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. You did jubilate, but it was only for you to be able to continue. The following are music streaming platforms except Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, Prime Video. We've chosen D, Prime Video. Are we stepping up? Yes, we are! Kojo, it is my honor to ask you to step up. But I've got a bonus for you. Let's go take a look at the bonus. Let's play the bonus, see if my man is going to get it. I am the founder of High Grade Family. Who am I? Emmanuel Andrew Samini, Levinson Echesetekla, Charles Niyama Menzo Jr., Emmanuel Anthony Samini. It's a bonus, you lose nothing. The founder of High Grade Family. You know High Grade? Ever heard of High Grade before? All right. 10 seconds. Nine, eight. We have chosen A, Emmanuel Andrew Samini, and you are right! <laughs> Yeah, I know we have You are surely in your element, my brother, and I'm loving it. All right. Welcome to the intermediary level of Step Up. On behalf of Syntax Tank, on behalf of MTN Mobile Money, on behalf of Angel Cola, and on behalf of Bell Ice, I am happy to welcome you to this level, Thank you. where every question is worth 200 Ghana cities. All categories are open except for religion. And which other one? Yes, I think all others are open except for religion. Politics. Politics, it says. Let's see the first question. Let's go. Politics. What type of government has a king or queen that holds all the power? Is it a republic, direct democracy, dictatorship, or monarchy? Says it's a monarchy. Is he right? Yes, he is. Let's go on. Next. Who is the speaker of parliament in Ghana? Is it Haruna Idrisu or Say Chayman Sabonsu? Samuel Okuja Swab Ablakwa or Alban Bagbin. Says it's Alban and you're right! Yeet, 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 yeet! Next! Which of the following is an example of a dictatorship? Is it A, Canada, B, North Korea, C, India, or D, Germany? Example of a dictatorship. Says it's B, North Korea. Is he right? Yes! <laughs> Let's see the next one. Which of the following is an absolute monarchy? India, United Kingdom, Canada, or Saudi Arabia? Absolute monarchy. Says it is B, United Kingdom. Is he right? After the break, we need to go. We need to go take a look at the syntax tongue question of the week. We'll be right back. Syntax Tank Question of the Week In which year did Syntax Tank release its triple layered water tank? A. 2015 B. 2019 C. 
2021 D 2023. Send the correct answer via SMS or WhatsApp to 0508 Remember, the fastest and correct answer wins a 500 Ghana Cities voucher from Syntex Tank. Welcome back to Step Up with Syntex Tank. Of course, special thanks going out to MCN Mobile Money. That's MCN Momo, just Momo. That's what we're talking about. Let me say special thanks to Angel Cola as well. Angel Cola, we love it. Of course, we all do love it. And of course, Bell Ice, Philippa. And everybody who's out to make this special. Special shouts going out to my man, Pepo Arlo out there in Kumasi for my outfit. Well, before the break, or before you went to look at the syntax time question of the week, our man Kojo has been cruising. Question, which of the following is an absolute monarchy? If he gets this right, he would go for one more and then we elevate him to the final step. Hmm. India, United Kingdom, Canada, Saudi Arabia. Arman chose B, United Kingdom, as a perfect example of an absolute monarchy. Do you know this one? Yeah. What, in your opinion, is an absolute monarchy? Um, ruled by a king or a queen, like royalty. And royalty? Yeah. Ruled by a king or queen? Um, so, uh, you chose United Kingdom yeah. because they have a king, yeah. but they have a prime minister too, don't they? Prime minister, yes. Yes. I know they, they switched ministers, prime ministers, I think, thrice or... So they do have a prime minister? Yeah. Does that make it absolute? Oh, oh yeah, but... I, I don't know. I, I just want to be... A, because what about Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia... Do they have a president or a king? I think um, I've only heard about the prince of Saudi Arabia. You've heard about the prince. If there's a prince, then there must be a king. I haven't heard about Well, we both don't know. We are all here to learn. Let's see what computer says. <laughs> Give it up for him. Give it up for him. Give it up for him. that one, Nana Koju. I was really impressed with his flow. It was flying so high. But of course, uh, the absolute monarchy dropped him off the charts. What about you? Are you going to be the next big winner right here on Step Up? So we come your way next week. Let me say special, special, special thanks going out. First of all, to Syntax Tank. Bell Eyes. Angel Cola. And Momo. Yes, you had them. Special thanks to my brother. Quick while look out there in case I for my outfit. But willing, we're back next week. But right about now, we are about to turn this place up with a turn up general. It's Magic Way. Let's get down. Let's get down. Let's, let's get go. Down, let's get down. Let's get down. Come on. Come on. Come, come on. 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 Come on.
Express with alcohol levels of 5.58 and 18% and enjoy. Bell Ice, me Philippa. This advert is FDA approved. Another quality. Alfred, silver iodide. You are right. Yeah! your calendars, set reminders, and get ready for the academic showdown of the year. The 2023 Great National time. Science and Math Quiz. It's time for the brightest young minds in Ghana to battle it out for academic supremacy. Expect mind-bending equations, heart-pounding moments, and nail-biting suspense as the best schools go head-to-head. -head. Who will emerge the ultimate champions? and claim the prestigious trophy. Catch the action on TV, radio, and online starting 6th to 24th October, 2023. Malika Ghana is brought to you by GTP, Club Shandy, Pepsodent Charcoal, with support from Geisha, Vaseline, Atlas Rent a Car, BVS Butchery and Groceries, Echo Jill, Tasty Tom, Specialized, Locus Estates. Special thanks to Tigon Creative Studios, White Restaurant. Don't be alarmed, you are not. I mean, I'm sure you're thinking you're watching the wrong show, but you are absolutely in the right place. This is Miss Malaika Ghana. And today, we're taking it to a whole different level. Now, as young women, we make choices every day. Some of our choices can be influenced by our personal goals, our background, our families, even our preferences in life. But there are other things that sometimes affect the journey along the way like social media, peer pressure, um, stereotypes when it comes to the genders, and so many things affect the way we see life. And sometimes we don't want to have those conversations. Today, Regina Van Helpen, my girl, has asked me to have these serious conversations with our 16 delegates. We want to know what their opinions are. It may get a little uncomfortable, but above all, we know that these are conversations that definitely need to be had. So, without further ado, are you ready for the 16 delegates? Okay. I think our audience is ready. What about you? Maybe all the dancing took some energy out of you. Not to worry. Let's go take some special water, take a break, and when we come back, we will get the conversation rolling.
life beautiful. Embrace it with the all new Ahuofe from GTP. Life style. Pepsodent introduces charcoal and lemon essence. A unique combination of natural essences whitens teeth naturally for you and family because every smile matters. New Pepsodent Herbal. Introducing a unique combination of herbal extracts in an antibacterial toothpaste for strong teeth and healthy gums that protects your family and you. Every smile matters. Delegate delicious meal by The Hangouts. Jandu Place, Delish Bakery. Delegate beautiful photos and behind the scene video by Chocolate Shot It, Von Creative Consult. Welcome back. If you've just joined us, this is The Big Conversations with Malaika. Now, our first set of delegates are really going to set the tone of the conversations that we're going to be having on the program today. They're going to be the voice of all young women in Ghana, maybe even Africa, talking about things that affect them politically, culturally, religiously, and all the above. But above all, how social media is impacting the lifestyle of women. We know this is a huge topic and everybody's talking about it. So why not let our Malaika delegates weigh in as well? Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Nyaniba, AJ, Fortune, and Frida. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. It's the smile for me. You're melting my heart already. And I'm sure people at home cannot wait to hear your thoughts on the subject. But first of all, you look absolutely beautiful. Don't they look lovely? Thank you. So great, so ready to win the crown. But you have to get through this first. So ladies, social media and the impact that it has on the lifestyle of women. Let me just go around very quickly. How would you say social media has impacted your lifestyle just in the last few years? When I first started investing my time in social media, I was affected negatively. Okay. Because I feel like um, some of this pressure starts from comparison. As I comparing myself to so many people and it was bringing an unnecessary pressure to me. I'm not going to lie about that. And when I realized that I came to um, the self-actualization that, no, I don't need to validate myself by what people think or what people are doing online. And I put myself back in track and I was like, okay, I can be me. And maybe I'll be able to influence others by okay. what I do personally. Okay, so it was the other way around. Social yeah. media did not influence you. You yeah. influence social media. <laughs> You're a tough girl. <laughs> Absolutely. Can I ask you, how many followers do you have on Instagram? I have enough followers yet. I have, I think I have less than 3K followers. So but that's so interesting. Why don't you think that's enough? Um, based on the expectations or the so-called standard right now, if you're below 10K, people um, kind of think that your page is not legit or mm. you are not fit for, you know, modeling a brand or businesses ac across. Sometimes I reach out to brands that I would want to love to work with. And then yeah. they look at my followers and they're like, I'm sorry, I cannot work with you. Because and that, you have less than 10K. Yes. Yeah. But are these 10K that you got organically? Did you buy them? Or it's just because of your pure talent and personality that you got them? Okay, Sika. So I don't have the 10K yet. Mm -hmm. But then I've had people reaching out to me telling me that I should buy fake followers. 
if I don't do that, I'm not going to make it. But I don't believe in that. I okay. believe in organic fans. Yes. I believe in organic followers. And I'm open to people to, you know, follow me so that... Because I have quite, like, good content there. I have a lot going on. I have, like, good projects that I do. And I'm hoping that people will follow me because of the positive things I'm doing. Because I'm not going to wreck it. Yeah. to do something as a spectator of society. Yeah. yeah. So this is a good opportunity to say a huge shout out to your 3K, yes. your 3K followers. <laughs> Let them know you love all 3K of them. I love you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for following Phenomenal Nyaniba. I'm super grateful. Watch oh. out, watch oh, out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sweetheart, social media, what do you think the impact has been on your life? Uh, personally, it's been positive. Okay. I realize that if you don't make the good use of social media, it's going to just backfire mm. in your face. At a point in my life, I was shying away from show, social media, sorry, because a whole lot was going on in my life. And when I see my friends post, I mean, they're in school, they're having all the fun. I feel like, nah, what am I doing with my life? Yeah. But I'm like, no way. I'm not going to let that affect me. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm a model, by the way. Mm. So I'm going to keep working with people. I'm going to keep posting. And yeah. that's what I'm doing, business. You're doing business. Yes. I love that. No time for... No time. Yes. You have a beautiful figure, sweetheart. Thank you. You look so beautiful. Thank In fact, so all of you do. But sometimes on social media, we are pressured to have a certain kind of body type. Have you ever felt that pressure before? Um, honestly, no, I haven't. Mm. I'm actually okay the way I am. I'm okay. I, I train. If I feel I'm getting a bit fat, I hit the gym. So I don't really feel pressured by the society standards of having a body, like the perfect body. Yeah. I, so, I feel there's no such thing as a perfect body. Okay. So I'm okay in the okay. way I am. Okay. Yeah. But I'm sure you have friends, other girlfriends that are even thinking of going under the knife. Yes. Because they've seen that there's some social capital in having the Kim Kardashian bottle. I, I feel like in everything, there are merits and demerits. So there's this um, popular YouTuber that died, um, Jackie O. After giving birth, she she wanted to go under the knife to like kind of fix her body, and then unfortunately for her, she passed out like due to complications during the surgery. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the implications. BB, there's a lot attached to BBL that we don't really know about. There are complications. Do you know at least seventy percent of people who do BBLs die? Yeah, they do. Yeah. You know that? It's just that they don't talk about it. Exactly. But people are dying every single day for the sake of likes, for the sake of follows. I mean, obviously, that's not a good enough reason, right? Exactly. What would you say is a good reason to really um, use the social media mechanism to your benefit? Okay, a good reason is putting yourself out there. I, my dad always tells me that the real currency of life is relationship. Some places, your money won't take you there, but someone you know mm -hmm. might take you there. So I feel like social media is supposed to use and networking, creating your own brand, a positive brand at that. Social media should be a positive space to say things that people need to hear. So many people are depressed in one way or the other. They might come out with a smiley face, but you don't know what's going on behind them. Mm -hmm. So I feel like with your social media, you can spread out love. Yeah. Yesterday, I saw a lady, she had this Hermes bag, you know, crocodile leather or whatever leather it was. And I was looking at